I got a whole bunch of soft goods and stuff in there, and my masks, and I got all my other core stuff in there. And I got some extra barrels and things like that in there as well. And let's get into it. Yo, what's good everybody? Kevin here from Board and Ballin. I'm gonna do a quick little gear bag review for you guys. I haven't made a video in a while, I figured why not? Got my ultimate sweater on, repping my home field. Right off the bat guys, remember to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. So you guys don't miss any new videos, remember to subscribe, okay? Alright, so first off, um, I guess we'll just start with the soft goods, I guess. Got my mask, basic I-4s kind of thing, right? You know, it's been it's been used and abused a couple times, but it's all good. So I got my basic mask, got my hopper, got a nice basic spire, speed feed. I got a lot of lime green stuff, I like the lime green, it works. Got that. Always, always need a grav hopper for pumping. Never go wrong with a grav hopper. It always works. And then I also have this uh, this custom rotor that my buddy painted for me. So it's just a basic, you know, die rotor, right? And my buddy did this custom paint job on it. It's several years old now, but it still looks baller. Big thanks to Sam for doing that for me. Yeah, so that's pretty, pretty much my hoppers. Uh, next up, I've got just like a little super freak barrel kit. I've had this for a while. It shoots great. Comes in a nice little uh, rollout case like so. Bam. You got everything you need in there for, you know, whatever temperature or humidity or things like that. I usually just roll with the basic 685, right? 685 insert. That's usually pretty, pretty good for me and where I play and things like that. If you're somewhere down in like, you know, the states where it's warmer and it's more humid, you're probably going to need a bigger size just because the ball is going to swell. But, you know, you can look all into that. Uh, usually roll the carbon fiber barrel or the steely barrel. Put that together. So, yeah, it works. Looks nice. So, we'll save that. Put that on a gun in a little bit. Pull that back up. All right, next I got uh, I got just my basic air tanks. So I have a spoolie and a poppet valve guns. I'll get to those later. Also, guys, comment below. What do you like better? You like spoolies or poppet valves? If you don't know what a spoolie or poppet valve is, comment below. I can make a video on that. It's pretty straightforward. Just have a basic 50-45 Ninja tank right here. It's called a peanut tank. Now I've taken all the shims out of this one because my poppet gun is a low pressure. So that's my low pressure tank. So I've got that. It's a dream. Works good. And I just have another basic, you know, 6845, right? Pretty solid. That's for my spool valve, my regular pressure gun. Again, got the lime green stuff on there. I like that. Got the lime green microfiber. Oh uh, my uh Barrel bags real quick, because why not? Just a basic shitty exalt one. That's that. This one I like. This is my fancy HK one. And the pattern sort of matches uh, matches my gun, which you guys will see in a minute. If you guys know my local field, Ultimate Paintball, I'll put a link in the description to that. You've already seen all my gear. And you know the gun I'm talking about. Uh, next we've got myself here. G3.1. So this thing's, this thing's pretty good. She works. She works good. This is my spool valve gun. I like it. I really like this gun, actually. Um, Shoots good. I had a GO2 for a while, and then just sort of upgraded. Got this one. Works out really, really well. Nice pops on off ASA. I like this. I really, really like this. I not. I, I like not having a macro line. Well, my other one, you know, the air goes through the grip, which is also nice. I'll throw this on here. We'll throw the air goes on there. Right, so there you go. I'm not gonna put the tank on right now, but you guys, you guys can see it, right? So it's pretty nice. I like the setup. Um, next thing I have over uh, my refing mask. So this is my new ref mask. I have another one that just is falling to pieces and shit like that. So this is my new refing mask. I really like it. It's a JT Pro Flex. Soft bottom, soft ears. Pretty much everything soft. It's got a nice double strap on the back. Mint condition. It's a little bit overpriced, but you know, I wanted it. Good solid ref mask right here. So yeah, works good. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got a good old KP3 here I like to run when it's like a slower day or there's a bunch of renters, all that sort of stuff. Put the KP3 together for you guys real quick. Uh, the KP3, if you don't know, it comes with two backs, which is really, really nice. It comes with a 685, which is normally what I shoot, and a 681, right? So you usually don't need the 681, but if you're finding you're getting rollouts or you can't like keep the efficiency up, you should sometimes go to a 681, and that'll just be, uh, it'll be a little bit better for you. Usually you don't need that, sometimes you do. Uh, so put this together. And again, that grab hopper I had earlier is for my pump gun. Just goes on top real good. If you're looking for a pump gun, I really, really recommend the KP3. Excuse me. It's reasonably priced. It's got an on-off ASA, which is really nice. It's super easy to adjust through the reg. The reg, excuse me. And you can do some minor stuff at the back as well. This cake works. Pumpkin's always fun. So yeah, that's my KP3. Pretty good. Never really had any problems with it. Uh, that's why I like it. I had an Empire Sniper for a little while. And I didn't really like that. I found I had problems with it, and it just I don't know. So KP3 works great. I highly recommend that. So that's my KP3. This is my my shelf gun. My favorite gun right here. So what this is. This is a, from my understanding, a 1 of 21. There's only 21 of these in the world with this anodizing. This is a Bob Long G6R, okay, with a nice sort of Rasta color and anodizing on there. So I got this from a good buddy of mine who got it from another buddy who got it from a team in Surrey, BC. You can see down there on the ASA, it says Surrey down there. Super, super nice gun. It's fully upgraded. It's got the four CIs, the hush bolt, the zero ping ram. I think it has an updated board. And then something with the LPR, I don't 100% remember. I have to look into that, but it shoots great. Super, super skinny and narrow and light. So I really, really like that. Thing shoots absolute, absolute butter. So I'm just gonna set this up real quick for you guys so you can see that. So yeah, that is my shelf gun, shelf setup. I really, really like this one. Usually don't lend this one out very often because it's just a fucking banger. Now with the short tank, I actually like the short tank because it keeps it nice and close to my face. I had a longer tank on here before. I mean, it works. I didn't really like it, but this is nice. Again, this is a poppet valve and it's low pressure. Most Bob Long guns are low pressure, so you need to do that. Not a big deal. It's more efficient. So yeah, that's my G6R. If you guys like it, it was uh, it was a pretty penny. Let's just say that. <clears throat> so yeah, I've got my GI flag in the back. I'm gonna be bringing that to my local field this year. Get some more signatures on there. There's already some on there from my buddies and stuff, but it's in black and you can't really see it. So you know, we'll go white marker. Or if you have any ideas, comment down below what you think I should do. Love to hear from you guys. And uh, that's oh wait. This is my toolkit. So it's pretty straightforward. It's just an old tackle box. Um, it's got you know lube in it, tools, screws, you know Allen keys, all that basic sort of stuff in there. And then on the bottom, I just have like some scissors, a squeegee, old parts, just sort of knickknacks and things like that. It's always good to have a solid, organized toolkit. And uh, yeah. That's my gear bag review. Hope you guys like it. Remember to subscribe below so you don't miss any new videos and drop a like if you liked it. Thanks very much.